What a Xenobot is, is we take skin cells from a frog egg, we put those skin cells together, and under certain conditions, that group of frog cells will hold its shape, and it will start moving uh, in fresh water in a petri dish of its own volition. It's actually only in the last few decades in the Hollywood era that we tend to think of robots as, you know, metal men or metal women. Um, it's actually more what they're what they do. And these xenobots, in theory, could do useful work on behalf of people, which is what makes them robots. As these xenobots move around, they happen to push these pellets into piles which led us to the idea of what happens if you replace these pellets with more loose frog cells. And the result is what we published this week, which is that they will push these frog cells into piles. Cells uh, under certain conditions are sticky, so the cells in the pile will adhere or stick to one another. And over about five days, if the pile is big enough, it will also sprout these small hairs these small cilia, and the pile itself will start moving. And that's a quote-unquote child xenobot.